microphone and speak to Honorable Jifa Blagoma. She's member of Parliament for Ketu South constituency. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Good morning to you. Good morning. And uh, the name is Abla Jifa Goma. Check him. Check him. <laughs> 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 oh, well, I hope you're fine. God has been faithful and mm. blessed with the gift of life. Mm. How are you? I am also doing well. I'm awesome. Able. Thank you. Um, well, there's a video making the rounds from your constituency specifically. Let's start with that and then we'll go to your general assessment of the registration process uh, in your constituency. There's a video making the rounds and it involves the Director of Communications of the National, of the New Patriotic Party, Mr. Richard Ahiangba. I, I know he does hail from your area. Um, and I know you've seen that video. Ha, 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 have your people explained to you what the challenge is? Absolutely. Um, first of all, greetings to all the amazing mothers of this country who have rocked the cradle and continue to support men to take care of the households. I single out um, the uh, former first lady. Mrs. Nana Kunidwajima Rawlings and Mrs. Lodina Mahama um, and my favorite AG, Marietta Brewer, Pia Opon. Um, happy Mother's Day to all of you women. Remain resilient. I know that uh, the world depends on us to keep peace and healthy children for, for the world. So, um, yeah. Um, I was uh, in the consequence when this happened. Uh, and it's because in 2020, um, I had cause to complain that the gentleman you mentioned, Mr. Richard Dahiyamba, had voted in Huima Agodoma. I was physically there to complain that why was his name written in pen in 2020? Why was his name written in pen and he allowed to vote? And the, the excuses given me on that day at that police station were not satisfactory. But Richard had left. I spoke with the media that were present that day. I recall vividly that PCFM was there. And I recall vividly that they interviewed me even after I stepped out away from the uh, polling center. So when in 2024, the person who has voted in the 2020 election comes to the, the registration center again in the hope of registering. Knowing that I'm not the easy, knowing that I am not the, the electoral uh, director, Dr. Mane Buama, for our party, I supported or I told my team to take the challenge form and question his ability to, to register again when his name has been written in pen and he had been allowed to vote what is going on this challenge form is a part of the process of action seeds, of uh, correcting a wrong, of also proving and understanding that we have a credible register. There can be imposters, there can be genuine questions, as in this case, it was a very genuine concern that we wanted to understand. As, as I said to you, in 2020, I asked, how do I know that Mr. Hyanda has not voted in two, three places. If his name can only be written in pen. So, 
Ewa mwa kwa mawamo Anyaba mwa zama Eee hey. Ewa mwa kwa mawamo Ewa mwa mi 2020 ya I have to be sure that it's not repeated in 2024 It is not against him It is for the system Are we all not interested in ensuring that There is a credible voters register and that the processes that lead to the uh, declaration of a winner in, the, in this contest of presidents and, and members of parliament, that it's credible. So we did challenge the, the, the uh, 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 attempt to register at the issues of his Atoko, which is where the municipal assembly is. So yes, I have seen that video. And I'm fully aware of what happened. They threatened us. They indicated that once we challenge, we should have that. There'll be challenge after challenge after challenge. And indeed, if we see the, the records from the first day to the sixth day, which was yesterday, you will see a hike in the number of people who were challenged because we challenged, um, we should have that. But I want to assure Richard Ahimba that there are people that he's working with, his, his party agents who have taken this target of uh, challenging everybody that is coming now, uh, will not deter us. The people you are challenging, you want them to, you want the family member to vote for you. My aim is to ensure that your vote with you. So continue challenging our people. Uh, because you know, that it is the stronghold of the NBC. We are resilient, we are poised and ready to make sure the process is free and fair. So, President John Dramani Mahama is declared winner of the 2024 elections. So, the whole amount of intimidation and challenging of our people is going to derail us. As on the last uh, register. We had 100, over 139,000 people. His Excellency John Dramani Mahama got 86,528 votes. It is my duty to ensure that vote increases. And that does not include answering to the things and purposes of the MPP in the constituency. So they should bring the fight on. A few issues, and thank you very much for confirming that story, because I was just telling my colleagues that I do recall vividly there was um, an issue over him voting in 2020. Um, but do you recall the basis for which he was allowed to vote, even though clearly, because his name was written there, means his name was not in the register? Oh, what else can it be than the fact that he belongs to the MPP and his party is in power? Perhaps what can it be? Maybe perhaps it was car carrying a valid voter's ID. Ah, uh, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's the reason for taking the challenge form. So, let him come to the adjudication on the dates that will be given. And we will go and see that, yes, indeed, he has a, uh, if he has a car, why was he coming to register? Whatever his problem is, we want to know. In fact, he should thank us for assisting him to, to have a uh, a, a more efficient way in which we do elections in this country. If Richard Ayyaban is well for this country, we will call his people to order and tell them that what the NDC is doing led by Shabumashi, eh? what we are doing is to ensure that we have a very credible and we take on that role we have in this, in this, uh, on this continent as having a, a very vibrant and uh, efficient system which they inherited. They should restore that glory. They should tell that this is what we are doing so they should assist us to ensure that the EC is efficient. So if he has a card or he doesn't have a card, when he is called to, to the adjudication uh, committee, he will make his case and whatever wrong has been uh, done against him will be corrected. In that process, it happened to a man of his stature. It will ensure that ordinary, we the ordinary people, eh? the, 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 the ordinary people like me, 
who cannot just walk into a, a, a polling station and have an name written in pen. So we are, we are made to vote. He should be happy that we are, we are, we are, we are uh, cleaning up the system. It shouldn't be against us. If he's doing something against us now because we, he has a card that we are telling him, how does that help the system? That's vindictiveness. And it is not healthy. If you come from the community, and we, the people, your people in the community, we say we don't understand why you voted in 2020 and you have come to uh, uh, register again. Why is that extreme? What he has done will be criminal then. Is that what it is? And from how you sound, you intend to see through, make sure that this adjudication process is concluded. Oh, absolutely. 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 How else? Uh, listen, the, 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 the democratic process is not a, 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 it's the forte of any individual. We are all a part of the process to make sure that our country remains the beacon of free fair elections on the continent. And it is only when we challenge the system as we have done that we can ensure that people who don't who are not known, who are not politically exposed, are also given fair treatment. If they can if, look, it's not the NDC that has challenged the over sixty people that were challenged yesterday. It's oh. not the NDC that challenged them. Over it's sixty the people were challenged yesterday. Over 60? They, they told us, they, they told us if we pick the form to challenge Richard Agnamba, they would challenge many people the following day. And they did exactly that. I remember mean, when was the total number of people registered yesterday, if they are doing over 60. I will 60. to you, sorry? I was, I was saying that I'm wondering how many people registered yesterday if they are doing over 60 challenges. I would, I would send you the, the, the daily record from the day that the election, the, the registration started. And then you can look at the, the, the trend and what has happened after we challenge Richard Ahianba. Wow. Look at it. And then listen to the, uh, the video, uh, the video that you have, the, the, the clip that you have. You will hear them telling us that they will challenge us if we don't allow Richard Ahianba to go on. Hmm. If that's the case, how are those who are turning up to register feeling about this? Oh, very distraught. And, you know, uh, <laughs> in uh, 2020, the votes of the presidential uh, candidates of the NPP went up a little bit. And we all thought, how did that even happen? But thank God it happened. Because of what we are doing, the people are showing us that they too will pay them back at the polling station. Because even if it was, it was about 14,000 people that voted for them, which we thought was too high, really. I mean, uh, if you look at the, uh, the, the, the pattern from 1992 to date, then uh, 2020 went up, and it really, personally, it even annoyed me. <laughs> but but that, that is what it is. They are saying they should continue punishing them. They will also save them at the police station come, uh, when the elections come in December. I mean, what crime have they committed? Just because your your communicate. I mean, look, at that level, you are challenged in the a process that you should be a part of correcting that you will use your power to uh, and your the uh, fact that you, uh, you can you are challenging people left, right and centre. So the people are angry with them. And I'll I'll make sure that they understand what we did. It is my duty. I'll make sure they understand what happened. And let's see who will benefit from, from that. Honorable, considering the impact those challenges might have on those who are turning up to register, 
uh, subsequent to you then challenging Richard Anyagba. Do you then think that you shouldn't have done that in the first place? You should have let him go so that at least you have a smooth process? No, no. So let me let me tell you um, what this is. When you're a challenge, as Richard I hear that his dad is challenge, you come to the education committee, you prove your case, they either give you the card or they don't give you the card. Now, the one, uh, 139,000 people that were on the earlier, uh, the register we used in 2020, uh, 86,000 um, 528 voted for His Excellency John Damani Mahama. And uh, the MPP candidate got about 14,000. So let's see, they run it up to about 100,000 people voted for the election. The 39,000 that is left, where are they? Why didn't they vote? Mm -hmm. So we have that 39,000 there that I, it is my duty to go and look for to come and vote. And challenging the the people uh, who are coming to vote now does not mean that those who have been challenged, all of them will not find themselves on the register. If, the, if that happens, then the EC is, 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 will be blamed, won't they? How can you even challenge all those people and you say that they, 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 all of them cannot be on the... So we'll go to that education. It's part of the process, as I indicated earlier. To make sure that we have a credible, credible uh, a, a voters register that we are going to work with. Otherwise, we allow all kinds of machinations and gerrymandering and what have you. Call it all the names that you want. Happening in places that uh, we, we, on our blind side, uh, people are put in, people are taken at random, at will, because we can. No, we must all ensure that they don't get away with this. We must learn to call, be bold enough to call people out when they go doing stuff that does not near to the benefits of the country. It's not about individuals. So it's Richard and have that today. Tomorrow, who is it going to be? So I don't regret what we did. In fact, I'll do it over and over again. And ensure that if, if it's one, even if it remains one one hundred thirty-nine thousand on that ball, uh, on that register, that all the one hundred thirty-nine come out to vote. It's not just ensuring that the names appear in the register, so they appear in the register. But we must ensure that they all come out to vote. And when they do come out to vote, it is my hope and my uh, it is my uh, job and my hope that they all vote for John Dramani Mahama 